Stop blowing your budget, stop waiting in line, and stop having Disney food FOMO. We are going to avoid all your Disney food disasters here on DFP Guide today. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and today we are going to talk about our DFB guide. You guys know we write these awesome ebooks that explain everything you need to know about dining at Disney World. It's basically everything I know in my head about eating at Disney in a book. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that today and help you avoid all of your Disney dining disasters with the DFB guide. So disaster number one, no more reservations at Be Our Guest Restaurant or insert your favorite restaurant here. Well, we talk about that a lot in the DFB guide and our number one tip is to absolutely make your dining reservations in advance. That is going to be your best tool to getting those hard to get reservations at restaurants like Be Our Guest, Cinderella's Royal Table, La Salle, and those firework view restaurants during showtime. But maybe you waited a little bit too long or you're booking a last minute trip and you can't get the dining reservations you wanted. If you missed that window and there's no reservations left, keep trying. Cancellations happen all the time, you guys. Happens to me all the time that I don't get a specific dining reservation that I want and a few weeks later one pops up because someone canceled. So keep checking as your trip approaches. If you still don't have any luck before you arrive at Disney World, check back in the day of with concierge or right at the restaurant podium to see if there are any walk-up reservations available. Do this as early as possible because there may be something available later in the day. Also, use my Disney experience to your advantage. You can keep checking yourself for any reservation opening up in the app until the time you'd like to dine. You never know when a cancellation or a no-show will come through. And if you still can't get in, there's loads of other restaurants worth a visit and we outline all of them in the DFB Guide to Walt Disney World Dining. We even have our recommendations for alternative restaurants when the ones you really, really want are booked up. And the alternative ones are pretty much just as good, you guys, so definitely pay attention to those alternative options. Now, if you can't get a reservation for a specific time frame, consider eating at off times. If you're going to Disney World during a busy season, you probably won't find any restaurant completely empty any time of the day, but you can still find some that will be significantly less crowded, especially resort table service to options during lunchtime. The major meal rushes are gonna be between eight and 9 a.m. for breakfast and noon for lunch and six to 7 p.m. for dinner. So we like to book meals for brunch around 10.30 or 11. You're gonna have a lot more reservations available at that time frame. And a late lunch at three or four or a late dinner around eight or nine will help you avoid those crowds and also open up several more reservation opportunities for you. All right, next, wasting your snack credits. If you're on the Disney dining plan, you might find yourself ending up with some leftover snack credits. We talk about this a lot here on the channel. As we say, no snack left behind. So maybe you just want to get the most bang for your buck. First, don't use your snack credits on bottled water. It's just too expensive and you can get free water at all the quick service locations around the park. You guys know this, I'm a broken record. Don't wait until the last day to use all those snack credits either. Have a plan. If you don't use your snack credits, it's money left on the table. Now, if you're looking to get the most value out of those credits, definitely use them at Epcot festivals. So food and wine, festival of the arts, flower and garden, festival of the holidays, those items are gonna be between four and eight dollars sometimes even $9 depending on the festival. So it's a great deal to use those snack credits on those particular items. And you can very easily make a whole meal out of snacking through the festival booth, so we highly recommend it. But in our DFB store, we have three books dedicated to Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom snacks. We go through all the snacks for you, we review them, we show you a picture, we show you Disney Dining Plan snack credit information. That's all there, so grab those books in the DFB store and make your plan ahead of time so that you know what you're going to spend those snack credits on and there's no snack left behind. All right, we are avoiding disasters all over the place. Next one, getting stuck in a line to order your lunch. Now, we can't stress this enough. Mobile order, mobile order, mobile order. It might be the most useful part of my Disney experience besides the fast passes. And you can check out menus, order your food, along with checking out those secret menus when they pop up right from the app on your phone. 
So once you order, simply head to the restaurant, hit the I'm here button, and your food will be prepared and you don't have to wait in those crazy lines, you guys. Mobile order is compatible with the Disney dining plan, so you can go ahead and use those quick service meal and snack credits through mobile order as well. And luckily, Disney World has expanded the restaurants available from mobile order, and you can use it at multiple locations in the Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Disney Springs, Caribbean Beach Resort. Now we've got all that stuff listed in the DFB guide, all the information about mobile order, special tips and tricks as well. So you definitely want to grab the DFB guide, head over to the mobile order section and read all about it there. All right, don't blow your budget. That's the next disaster we want to help you avoid. It's very easy to blow your budget in Disney World because while you're there, you know you're going to be spending a lot of money. And sometimes it's easier to just throw money at something instead of figuring out a better solution. So we're going to figure out the solution ahead of time so that you don't have to throw money at anything. We have an awesome budget worksheet that comes along with our DFB guide, as well as a calendar worksheet to help you keep track of all of your dining reservations and track just how much you plan on spending on food during your vacation. You can also use this budget worksheet to determine if the Disney dining plan is a good option for your family or if you're better off paying out of pocket for your food. Now remember, the DFB guide has an entire chapter dedicated to the Disney dining plan where we take our little fake family, two adults and two kids, through a vacation at Disney World, everything they're going to buy and eat and calculate the cost and see if it would save them money to go ahead and get the Disney dining plan. We also calculate and crunch the numbers with room discounts, free dining, regular Disney dining plan, and figure out what's the best combination of discounts for you to save the most money on your trip. So we do a lot of work in the DFB guide around the Disney dining plan and around food budgeting. So definitely check it out. There's a ton of information in there. But remember that eating at Disney World isn't just fuel. You want to pick the restaurants you and your family will enjoy. So we've also included a brainstorming worksheet to help you narrow down your choices and make sure that the places that you guys are going to go are the places you're really going to enjoy. And of course, we talk about all of that in the DFB guide as well, where I give many reviews of every single restaurant so you can get a good feel for what you can expect at those restaurants. Okay, disaster number five, there's nothing I can eat here. Maybe you're traveling with dietary restrictions or picky eaters, but this is something you never want to hear when your family sits down to a meal. And in the DFB guide, we outline every single restaurant so you know what to expect and what the atmosphere will be like. We've also got links to great restaurant reviews that we keep as unbiased as possible. We let you know why you might like the dining location and why you might want to steer clear, depending on your family. Here at DFB, we never say something is necessarily great or awful, our job is to show you what you get, to give you our thoughts about it, and to help figure out which family and which people this particular item is for. So that's what we do in the DFB guide. We say this is a great restaurant for honeymooners, but maybe not so much for families with toddlers. So for example, if you're looking for vegetarian fare, we may recommend specific restaurants that we don't necessarily recommend to someone who's looking for barbecue. They're both great restaurants, but they're just for different people. So you can find all of that in the DFB guide. Now, if you've got picky eaters that just want some comfort food, if you're gluten-free, you're keto, there are allergy situations, diabetes, we cover all of those in the DFP guide and give you great resources and great suggestions so that you never have to sit down at a restaurant in Disney World and say, there's nothing I can eat here because you'll have done your research ahead of time and you'll only go to restaurants that will for sure give you something that you're going to love. All right, the last Disney disaster we want you to avoid, FOMO, fear of missing out. There are hundreds of restaurants at Disney World, hundreds, and there's so many good ones. But of course, we don't want you to miss out on anything, whether it be awesome new snacks at Disney World, great restaurants, and even great dining experiences that you might not know about if you don't really do your research. So with our DFB guide, you can't possibly miss a thing because we lay it all out for you. If you're celebrating a birthday but didn't know you can have a birthday cake delivered to your advanced dining reservation, we let you know all about all of your options for celebrating special events from the little extras and special tables you can request at those restaurants. For example, our favorite tables to request are window or fireworks view tables. And believe it or not, a lot of people don't even realize they can request tables when they walk up to that podium at the restaurant. When you check in for your dining reservation, we want to make sure you know the perfect table to sit at and you can request that perfect table. And that way the cast member, even if they can't give you that table, they can give you something similar or close. 
So we've got a whole list of our favorite tables in the DFB Guide. And also, you don't want to miss any of those super Instagrammable snacks. The DFB Guide has a huge snack chapter talking about all my favorite snacks, which gets longer and longer every year. But we do also have our snack guides, like I mentioned, that gives you every single snack and our thoughts on those. So there's tons of information. You'll never have to deal with Disney dining FOMO if you read the DFB Guide and make sure you have all those places on your Disney bucket list crossed off. So there's a bunch of Disney dining disasters you can avoid with the DFB Guide with the other books at our DFB store. So go check out dfbstore.com. Don't forget to use code SPRINGBREAK for a 40% discount on all of them. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'd love to let you know more about those books that we write. We pour our heart and soul into those, you guys. Those are everything we know here at the DFB team is in those books. So definitely let us know what you think. As always, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching you guys. This is AJ for Disney Food Vlog and we'll see you real soon.